there are different zips so this is a normal zip the normal short zip is um, usually eight inches i just want to show okay but where this topper is going to be is eight inches by the time you check it i you seen that just take a note then there's another one for gown the gown zip usually is supposed to be 25 inches this is 24 because i always to eat is on 25 the normal standard sort of there's another longer zip maybe for a full length gown this one is about 30 inches okay so there's another short zip like this i like using this one the, the teeth is thicker than this one you see that see the handle then we have our invisible zip too this is where the back of the visible zip is in the back of this one so i want to show the fixing the invisible zip also have the long one i'm just using black color because it's sort of universal so now i want to show you a sample of how to fix it so we are going to cut you're going to do your own tool so this is the measurements i'm going to use um where is the video blow okay seven by think seven by eleven inches seven by eleven hmm? i'm going to fold it cut it into two i'm going to cut it into two so i already cut mine i think that it's important to iron if you can iron please do then i'll put it back together and i'm going to stitch it to around the middle area let's just say two inches you can mark it so you can mark it to be sure you get a straight line. You can use a loose stitch also because you're going to loosen it back. Hmm? Just mark it along that line and so. Okay, so there are different foot. I don't know if your machine, I think your machine can use it or not. So this is a zipper foot. It works for, um, it works for invisible and normal zip. For me, there are some special zip for invisible zip but this one works for me this is a normal foot zipper foot this are this is a pack of foot that i have i think maybe one of these is i'll show you this, this one is for the bottom oh okay so so what i will do now so this is the length we've measured eight inches so i'm going to be losing it up to up to seven inches this is the same way I'm going to do it on your skirt, but I'm just going to show you. So I'm losing it up to this point, this seven inches point. So this is my zip now. I want to start fixing it. See, I've I loosened the two parts. See that? It's important to iron it so that it won't stress you. So this is one of the methods. And I'm using the foot. So the first thing is to you can use your normal foot if that's what you have. It will still work. It may not just come out 100% perfect. Like this one will. See what I did, right? Okay. Okay, so. So it. Place it like this. Look at the under. When I'm getting towards this part, I will zip it up so that it doesn't disturb my son. I see I've gotten to that point. Okay. So the foot I raised it up. Hmm? And I'm closing the zip back so that I see that I put it back. See it. So I'll try to sew to come down a bit. So I turn it this way, like a kind of square. This is the first method everyone, everybody uses when making zip. I'm still using the foot anyway. I believe it should. I deliberately use this color of fabric so that it can be clear. So I see the way the zip came this way. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sew it dark, back. Okay, so I need all this thread that was there before when you were, were losing it off. So try to put it this way so that it will be covered. And I bring down my foot lifter and start sewing. 
but it's important that your stitch comes straight. Okay, so sorry, the other video was um, interrupted. So it's important that your stitch comes straight and do straight. Okay, so I'm bringing it this way. So when I'm getting to this stage, to this point, so that it does not disturb me, I'll loosen it up back. And then I do it. Okay, so this is it. So by the time you're done, the zip I don't need properly to just rest perfectly like this. I'm going to show you another method. Okay? This is another zip I want to use now to show you. Okay, so this is another method, okay? almost like invisible zip method. So this is how I'm going to be fixing. You can even use your pins to hold it. Okay? Use your pins to hold it at each point so that it will be equal. But I won't be using my pin. So this is how I'm going to do it, almost like a visible zip method. Hmm? Are you seeing where I placed it? Just like this. And you make sure you follow that line. If that line is not obvious, usually the the um the needle marks that makes it show. If not, you can mark it so that you can follow it. So I'm going to sew it down for the first side. So at some point, I had to shift the one part of the zip. Like, um, how do I show that? Uh, Actually, for this invisible zip method, see this. See, there are two. We have A, we have B. A here, B here. So, for one side, I will, I will put it here. From that side, I will put it here. So, you're the one that will be able to figure it out when you start sewing. So, I couldn't use the other side I've been using before for this one. So, I have to put it on this side since it's the invisible zip method, as I like to call it, because the zip teeth will be showing out. Okay, so. Let's see. I just take it this way, and I'm getting close to this place too. I'll, I'll push, I'll push it up. See, make sure you are following the line as you lift it. So I'll continue so much. For this zip, see that this, the teeth is going to be showing out. Hmm? They usually use it for gowns, especially. And recently, after I seen it on skirts too. So the same thing I did for that one. I'm going to also do this one, put this one here. You can put, you can use your pin to hold them down. You can use your pin to hold it down before you start sewing. If you feel so that it can be equal by the time you are done. Hmm? Are you see what I'm trying to say? To come out, it just look exactly like this. Yeah, done. Okay, so this one now. Let me see if I can use this direction of. Uh... See, so it now is not working, so I have to change it to the other side. So you see, I have to change it to the other side. You may need to pause the video and replay to be sure what I'm talking about for the second side. Okay, so are you seeing it? So this is how to show me. I want it to come out well. But if you are going to be using it on maybe a blouse, so you can usually ask. You can just put it this way. You can just put it this way. Mind my plenty of thread. And just stitch it here a little so that it doesn't come out this way. But by then we'll have done all the finishing. You will see I will explain that. So that is that about that for this particular zip. See? So I just to just turn it like this. And zip it up. So I'll show you the next one in the next video.